This is the audio log of Medical Supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. We have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrist back on Earth. Options are simply dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group are atrophy, skin, hairs, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division. Making progress expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And your soul this is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about the other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns, the Arabs had secured some armaments. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Ah, who's there? Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. This is the audio log of Medical Supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. 
Patient 0432, a Private Steve Jensen, the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired the day 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Medical report 16-8, dated November 2nd. Patient 043, the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired yesterday. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusion. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity, and thought processes within normal range. Paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A. Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk?
Klingon systems deactivated. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, the Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Uh, today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers. <laughs> chews up rocks and spits out crap as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinder, dated October 15, 2145. And, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I didn't survive the first trip. No worse for wear. I, I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, <laughs> uh flames and <laughs> the of the place. It smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads from um, Science Division. We start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. Admit on a personal note that I, I've, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there or, or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off.
Medical Report 16-8, dated November 2nd.
job will get the teleporter working again. And you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Systems activated. Teleportation is T minus three. Two.